Hello, this is Kashif Mahmood and welcome back to KM Webverse. In this video, I will tell you how you can set up a WooCommerce currency switcher. So using this plugin, you will be able to add a currency switcher maybe like this or like the one I have added over here. So there are lots of designing option in this plugin. And you will be able to get real time currency rates unlimited currencies and when a user will come from any country then they will see the product prices in their own currency so there are lots of feature in this plugin and it can do anything that you want to do with the currency switcher plugin so here is my website let's go to the dashboard and i have installed the plugin i will provide the link for that in the description there is a free version of the plugin and there is a paid version of the plugin so i will help you set up this plugin and i will tell you which features are free and which are paid as well so here we will go to the installed plugins and here we can scroll down and here you can see i have installed both of them so if you want to install the free one you can install it directly from the plugin directory in wordpress.org so you can install it and once installed you can go to the woocommerce settings and here you will see this option currency so you can click on it and here you will see like hundreds of features in this plugin and here you can see i have added lots of currencies so you can add unlimited currencies you can just click on add currency and you can then change the currency whichever you want to add so let's try anyone and here you will click on get rate and here you can see it will update the rate and there is also a feature in the paid plugin that it automatically updates the rate as per the frequency that you set so it will update the rate daily or maybe weekly whatever you want so let's click on save changes and here we will go to the options and here you can select which API you want to use to convert so uh, some are free and some are paid I am using this finance yahoo which is a paid one but you can use any free one the first three are free so you can try them out this one works best for me so i am using this one and here you can select the frequency that i told you so it will update the rate at whatever frequency you want to set up so we can click on save changes now let's go to the front end switcher and here you can enable this switcher when you will enable it you will see an option like this on your website where when you will click on it you will see all the options for the currencies that you have added so you can make it like a drop down like classic and here you can make the flag show you can show the symbols and when you are in drop down you can you have different settings you can change the style of this to maybe a floating or maybe rotating one so like this so there are several options here and you can change the position from here you can change the colors as per your theme and here when you go to the display rules you will see these short codes as well so you can just go to your header and just place a short code to use this thing and here when you will go to the documentation of the plugin you will see all the details so there are like some parameters that you can also pass while setting up a short code so maybe you can just search for like short code parameter or something i just searched for that and here currency rate modes here you get these short codes for the currency rates and you have for the currency switcher as well here you can see so you can use these kind of short codes with the short code just like this then you will be able to use different kind of currency switchers just like this so here is the short code that I am using and here you can go to tooltip you can enable disable the tooltip currency converter so when you will enable this you will see an option like this the user will be able to convert the rates live but I have turned this off because I don't think I will need this currency rates and here you can see this kind of option when you will click on it you will see the different rates automatically but I have also disabled this one because I don't need this and you can write your own custom CSS GUIP rules so all the currencies that you will add in the plugin you will see an interface like this so when a user will come from Canada they will see the Canadian currency 
and you can also change this like you can remove Spain from Euro and you can add it in another one so when a user will come from any region then they will see their own prices all the currencies are available in the plugin but I have only added a few so that's why more countries are showing in the Euro otherwise we can set up a different currency for each you just go to the currencies and here you can click on add currency just add another so you can add unlimited currencies and you can also enter manual prices so just enable it and you can add the currency manual rates by putting the values over here and you can also create custom currencies as well you can add custom flags so if you want to change the flag for dollar or something then you can change that as well all the features that a currency converter plugin can provide this plugin is doing the job so you can use this plugin i will provide the link for this in the description whether you want to use a free plugin or whether you want to use a paid plugin so you can try them out let me know about your thoughts in the comment section and like this video subscribe to my channel for more related videos see you next time